Special thanks to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, Off the Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts, Games and Friends in Springfield, Massachusetts, as well as Triple A Games Arena in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken, join the community Discord, and maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash the Broken Lords. Thank you. Yeah, that's on me. I, eh, it is what it is at this point. Perhaps, Vega, you gave voice to that thought? Should I attack this thing before it attacks me? Is it, like, circle? Is it dangerous? Did you did you say that out loud? Yeah, I said that out loud. Like, what Hawk is this Bird, thing? Would you like to spend another point of momentum to answer the question, is it dangerous? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. It should probably only be dangerous if someone were bleeding. Oh. It's almost your size. It's not going to try and kill you unless it thinks that it can get away with it. Okay. It would need to spend some time eating you because its mouth, it's certainly not big enough to take, like, huge chunks out of you. Yeah. Okay. It examines you. It gets within maybe maybe five feet. It brazenly close. And then it turns away and it slaps its tail to get a burst of speed to get away from you, you can feel it in the water. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, it has to repel 120 pounds of bastard fish away from us. <laughs> <laughs> bastard fish is strong. Ugh. That's, that's strong. <laughs> Alright, so uh, 120 pounds of bastard fish propels itself away from you. Everyone's feeling... I mean, how are you feeling? Uncomfy, man. <laughs> grateful. Yeah. Moist. Grateful that I don't have to fight it, but pissed. Moist. <laughs> Thorn Diver the Moist rides again. I mean, Snidely was correct. I did give myself a new title a while back. I did see that, yes. You are the Moist Th- Thorn Diver. I am the Moist Thorn Diver. Well, if we're not getting attacked immediately by fish, shall we? We're, we're almost there, right? Yes. The sun has dipped mostly beyond the walls of the valley, and as such, it's starting to get pretty shadowy dark. The tree line begins to thin, and about a hundred yards away from the island, the trees cease entirely, and very suddenly... The ground level drops off. We have to swim. You will have to swim the remaining distance. You... Uh, How far? Corey, you are my friend. One of my (laughs) biggest homies for life in real life. But right now, 8.18pm, you are a motherfucker. Just throwing that out there. I'm actively looking for a large branch or piece of wood that is floating somewhere. One that I could theoretically employ like a kickboard or that somebody else could use if they're not feeling their oh, best. Oh yeah, there's there's dead wood floating around. Okay. If you're gonna find a few suitable candidates, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna totally not roll any dice to see if there's any North American murder logs amidst the other logs. Oh man. But like, how far do we have to swim? America's not even in this. Hundred yards. Hundred yards. Hundred yards. Thank you. At least say North Fake America. Like, North <laughs> Fake America. We have fake listen, Spain. <laughs> listen, they are North American murder logs, whether or not we are in North America. <laughs> okay. Your game, your rules. Are these counterfeit murder logs? Uh, no, they are They are the predecessors of the North American murder log. Oh my god. Do you know what that means? That means there could be... An ancestor. There's bit logs, too. If there's counterfeit... <laughs> Stop. We gotta stop Stop this right now. I'm throwing the X out right (laughs) up there on that. So yeah, you find a suitable log you can use as a boogie board. Yeah, because then... Some drifting wood. We can use our legs more and then maybe get less tired. And It can fit, like, two of you. So maybe the one with the fucked up leg and the one with the 
fatigue level. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. All right. Well, shall we go for it? No time like the present. Let's swim. Got no other option. So. 100 yards to go. Then it's dry land. I hope. Everybody give me a difficulty one athletics check. I can fuck that up. I'm going to invest a fortune point. You probably should. Yeah. I'm using one of the momentums. Actually, for the two of you on the log, this one is going to be a difficulty zero. So maybe. Hey, look at that. Maybe don't spend a fortune point. No, I I take my fortune point back. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Once again, Uh, the legend, the man who hates success. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, I spent a fortune, though. (laughs) Yeah, then you're fine. Yeah, no, but you still fucking buy it. (laughs) Yeah. Listen, it's a target number 10, all right? I have to power game so that it's impossible for luck to fuck me out of something. The only reason I've passed any of my uh, survival checks. In classic fashion, I spent the momentum to gain a momentum. Nice. (laughs) Technically, I also generate a momentum because on an athletics check, I have a strong back, you see? Yes. Got it. That's correct. You do have a strong back. (laughs) <laughs> you got it from stabbing an alligator or a cro- I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Seems right. No, no. What happened is when it death rolled on you, it was like a chiropractor visit. It just snapped everything <laughs> into line. <laughs> Fixed wow. all my old problems. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Haven't been this limber in years. <laughs> Counteracted some of the damage the Bossonian longbow years of use has dealt to oh, your skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> wow. His his ribcage must be like pinched on one side and like wide open on the other. Nah, I was an even press. All my ribs are just kind of poking into my lungs now. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty, so you guys make it halfway across. You make it your first 50 yards without too much trouble. I would like some resistance checks from everyone who's in the water, though. Oh, Christ! Can I spend a fortune point now? That's where I'm spending yeah. my fortune point, for the record. <laughs> yeah. The difficulty is going to be two on this, so... That's exactly why I'm spending the fortune point, baby! Mm. I'll spend my last fortune on this. I needed it, too, alright. <laughs> I spend one... I generate moment momentum on, on that. Uh, choo choo. Uh, oh my god, four successes for Phaedra. Yeah, we have maxed out the momentum pool. Uh, that's good. I'm gonna use some of that next round. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, that that's not untrained for Phaedra, right? So that was actually five successes. Yes, yeah. Look, the boogie board is great, it works. The boogie board <laughs> is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Also, you've traveled over a very large chunk of the continent. Kind of makes sense that you beasted that check. <laughs> I also wanted to be said that I spent my last fortune. Yes. So now I get to just fail my athletics check. That'll be fun. Good job. Snidely, did you spend a fortune? Yeah. You did? Everyone is so fortunate. <laughs> Are we? Am I? We're alive. Yes. Is this? Uh-huh. All right. Could one of you... I'm going to nominate Jordan. Jordan, could you roll 1d4, please? That's an esoteric dice. I'm scared. Does this determine how many murder logs kill us? Dos. Even Steven. Alrighty then. So, you guys are, as I said, halfway across. You're still going. Stamina's holding up. Poor Cull is, is tired, but he's making do. Phaedra is you know, getting some water therapy in on her twisted leg, and she's <laughs> feeling pretty awesome, actually. It's been a pretty good day to be Phaedra. And all of a sudden, there is a sense of motion in the water, and Octomer, you feel a very powerful suction suddenly drag you under. Cool. I always knew I would die. <laughs> Moist in a swamp. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. How do I? How do I not be dead right now? What do I gotta roll? For those of you watching, everyone's swimming. You're all kind of keeping your eye on each other, watching the water, looking for movement. When so suddenly he barely makes a squeak, <laughs> Octomer just gets yanked under the surface. And Octomer, as you descend. Into the water, you are surrounded by complete darkness. 